Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. After the Monster 5 Grade 1 races at Santa Anita last Saturday, we settled back into reality a little bit at Santa Anita this Saturday with one Grade 1 race and a Grade 2 as well. The Grade 1 will be a Breeders' Cup winning your in the Santa Anita Sprint Championship. Unfortunately, it came up a little light on runners this year, but still has star power with the very likely odds on favorite and one of the front runners to be the favorite in the Breeders' Cup Sprint next month. And that's Lord Nelson, the Bob Baffert trainee, has been nothing short of awesome this year with a 3 for 3 record, two grade ones, including a brilliant performance last time out in the Bing Crosby at Del Mar. He will be very, very tough to beat for Baffert in this spot. It'll be interesting to see how much Baffert even has him cranked up in a race that he should win, even at about 80 to 90 percent. But Lord Nelson, my pick right now for the Breeders' Cup Sprint will get a nice prep in him in an easy spot here in the Santa Anita Sprint Championship. If he's to be beat, there's only two horses that seemingly have any shot, if any at all, and one of them is barn mate Jazzy Times. This three-year-old was scheduled to run in the King's Bishop at Saratoga in August, but was unfortunately scratched due to a foot bruise. Things seem to be going well, though, for the Zayat Stables runner, as he's been training lights out and will run at Santa Anita in preparation for what they hope is a run in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Jazzy Times will have a lot to do to beat barnmate Lord Nelson, but will likely be the clear second choice on the board for Baffert. And then the other one that has an outside chance is all, all run for trainer Richard Baltus. The five-year-old was a little bit disappointing when uh, highly touted off the bench last time in the Pirates' bounty. He was beat up pretty well by another Baffert runner amongst others in there, Kafister Mrazak. But second off the layoff, been training well again, all run with an outside shot to be, to be there. Possibly my pick for second. Not a race I will be involved in, though, paramutually speaking. And then you have two outsiders in addition to the top three. You have Cautious Giant, and you also have any time, any place. They appear overmatched and are just riding for minor rewards. So, wish the race would have come up a little stronger, but I can tell you this, the Breeders' Cup Sprint next month should come up very strong with Lord Nelson, maybe Jazzy Times, masochistic AP Indian and more and Dre found the three-year-old who was the one that won that King's Bishop for Baffert it should be a loaded version of the sprint I'm really looking forward to that but first things first we'll deal with the hammer doubt looking forward to see Lord Nelson back and Jazzy Times taking on stakes company for the first time he was brilliant in his for in his debut at Churchill but and then came back and ran real well at Del Mar this summer before shipping to Saratoga but Lord Nelson's race to win all run jazzy times the likely underneath runners. Good luck to everybody at the windows. Keeneland opening up this weekend. Should be a wonderful fall meet there as usual. Santa Anita into its second week. Good luck at the windows though. And we'll be back next week to start getting back into the Breeders' Cup Distaff, which should be an amazing race coming up the as the feature on the Friday Breeders' Cup card. Have a good one. <laughs>